Hi guys, I'm going to come by an Accelerated's video and course today, so please be patient while I get through both. I'm going to start with core and then I'm going to go to Accelerated. So let's talk about some things. One, I am missing so much work from people and I don't want your grades to be impacted when you have done the work and just haven't turned it in. So make sure you are double checking your grades on Infinite Gamma's to see what you've missed. Again, the only things that you need to make sure you are turning in are anything with the poem from um, Life Doesn't Frighten Me by Maya Angelou, and then all last week's Cammy's assignments about mood and tone. So only from weeks 9, 10 are really where you should be looking to turn in late work, plus no red ink. Get er done, okay? But now let's focus on today, which is day one. So for day one today, what you are expected to do is talk a little bit about flashback. We're going to talk a little bit about Born Brown versus the Board of Education, a little bit about academic vocabulary, which is where it's kind of different between accelerated and core, and then you're in charge of read a first day of school. Your homework is to finish your Friar Swears or whatever uh, vocabulary assignment you have by Friday. So if I go to my modules, I will get started talking about the background information for Brown for Support of Education and for the first day of school. Now the setting is going to be in about um, 1950s, 1960s, around the time like before and right during the Civil Rights Movement. And it's really important to understand a couple of things. Segregation was where whites and blacks were put in different schools based off the color of their skin and it was called the Jim Crow as long as it was separate but equal but if it is equal or not is what they were kind of really figuring out because um Mr. Brown's daughter was trying to go to an all-white school because it was closer and took this uh court case all the way to the Supreme Court where it was unanimous that it should not be separate but equal it should all be integrated together so your job today is to watch these two videos on your own time about Brown versus Board of Education and the History Channel's version both are really quick but very informational and it's important to know this before our story because we're to be looking at the mood of the story the flashbacks of the story and we really have to understand the history before we read it we're also going to be talking about flashback, okay? So when you have a flashback in a story, it takes you from the present time of the story and it brings you to a memory. Now that memory is to explain a certain event, to develop an understanding of the character a little bit better, or to develop more of a conflict as well. So you can watch these videos. I think Harry Potter is the better of the two videos. I'm not sure if the right to one is working. It wasn't this morning. Harry Potter is the better of the two videos. So flashback. Brown versus Board of Education. Here are your vocabulary words for the week. Um, you need to be thinking, are they positive connotation, negative connotation? Thinking about the emotional meaning behind words as well, while I gave you the denotation, which is the dictionary definition. Your job is to do the following. One, your vocabulary assignment. There are different for accelerated and core. So for core, Yours looks like this. It has all the words and the definitions already on there for you, and your job is to do a little bit of research where you find three synonyms for each of those words, and then you write a story using those words. It should be five to eight sentence paragraph, all the words should be used, and you highlight the words in your writing, and for full credit, each of the words have to be used correctly. That is your homework. Um, before I show the accelerated version, I do want to show you where you could find the story. Now, all, as always, it is on the recorded list, so it says audio at the first day of school. That's me reading it to you. And I also know that you guys should know where the story is on here. So if I go to drive to google.com, I go to HRW, next to the gopher, next to IC. I should also have this pop up student ebook. And after the student ebook is pulled up, I'm on the correct page because I was using it today. We can go to contents. We go that arrow all the way back so you can't anymore. We're on collection five now, decisions that matter. We scroll to the first day of school. We click read the text. If we want it to be bigger, we go to page view, first box, and it's zoomed in for us. Accelerated's work is basically glorified Frayer squares that I will show you and get there. So for first hour, if you're accelerated, your vocabulary just looks a little bit different. 
if it loads, go to the modules. I then go to, yeah. And you will see that you guys are just doing Frayer squares. The difference is that you also have to tell me the connotation besides the denotation and a quote from the text. So that should be a direct quote of how that word is used in the story of the first day of school. That's it. Email me with questions. Have a good day. Love you.